Honourable Member for Sherbrooke. Monsieur le Président, le ministre de l'Environnement a passé plusieurs jours à Durban cette semaine aux frais des Canadiens, rien que pour saboter le protocole de Kyoto. Toutes les raisons sont bonnes pour justifier le retrait du Canada de cet accord, qui est pourtant essentiel pour la planète et pour les générations futures. Ce ministre a les deux pieds pris dans le bitume. Il fait du surplace alors que le reste du monde avance pour créer une nouvelle économie de l'énergie. Est-ce que le ministre est allé à Durban pour simplement se faire fossiliser? As we've said in this House many times this week, the Government of Canada supports the development of an agreement which would have all major emitters around the table to see real uh, change in G uh, GHG emissions. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it's no wonder the Minister is in Durban advancing the agenda of his big old friends. That's who he spent his time with. He has met with oil lobbyists almost three times more than he's met with environmental groups. And this, for Minister of the Environment, why is it no surprise that after all these meetings with oil company, his government still broke their promise to regulate emissions from the oil sands this year? Secretary, the Minister of the Environment. Well, Mr. Speaker, we seek to understand the viewpoints of all stakeholders with regard to environmental stewardship. That's why we consult industry and environmental groups. That's why we have a strong sector-by-sector -sector regulatory approach that uh, seeks to reduce greenhouse gas emissions that balances both environmental stewardship and economic sustainability. Yeah,